The most common project with maps uh, that I meet on a daily basis is the need to create your own regional division. This means that we start from kind of uh, initial map and then we try to reshape the areas to create your own ridges. On my example, we will start with Polish states and would like to create a few regions based on them. What we need at the beginning is the shape map of the Polish states and also the sales that we will later show on a map with the new division. And this is a moment to introduce a totally new uh, software in, within this course, which is called Quantum Geese and uh, the abbreviation QGIS. Uh, and this is the software to create maps uh, and uh, this is a professional uh, software and we can use it to create a new vector layer that will come from Polish state shapes file. What you choose is uh, the biggest file in the folder and you hit add then you need also another layer which is the text layer for the new regions and the information about regions is stored in the csv file that we can also open and close the opening window in the second step we'll go to the properties of the states shape and find the joins option to combine both of the data sources so we can create a new join uh, the join layer will be 5.1 and the join field is the state and the target field and this is the place you need to know what is the target field in my case this is JPT Nazva and after you hit OK you can apply and hit OK to check whether this join is correct you can go to the attribute table and check whether your attribute table has somewhere the new region field. We see it in here on bottom uh, that we have uh, like we look up in here the new region name. We can close now the attribute window. In the next step we want to connect the states into one shape and this is the operation that can be done under the vector. Uh, in my interface it has been moved somewhere on the right but it should be in the middle and uh, what we need is we need geo processing tools uh, and the one that is called this solve and within this solve operation you set up the input layer which is the states at the moment and then the most important thing you choose the this solved field in our case this is the region uh, column so the one that we have uh, looked up uh, before a, a second and then we hit run to create a new layer in Kugis. the last step save the new layer as region map you can select the path and then what is really important you need to apply the proper coordinate system which in most of the tools is APSG 4326 WGS 84 this is the one that should be applied before saving the file when you hit OK, your layer is exported. Now you can start adding the new map to the tools we discovered through this course. Uh, the first example is about the three-dimensional map. So we can go to the sales for regions table. We can create a, a table in a worksheet and then we can insert a new three-dimensional map. Then we can load custom regions coming from the region map shapefile we pick the region name from the region column and hit import and the last part we remove the field and create a new region field as a custom region at the beginning these are just dots which are centroids of the polygons but when you change the visualization to region you can now see your regions and you can start reporting based on them for example report sales 
If you would like to use the custom Excel map and you don't have too many shapes, you can use a software like Inkscape to create your own graphic layers on a picture. You use the paint bucket to create the shapes, then you save the file as an enhanced meta file, and then you open the custom Excel map template, you remove uh, the shades we don't need in here, and you can insert a picture that is called region drawing. And when you load the picture, you can ungroup the picture to get the shapes. And now you can once again ungroup all of them remove the background picture and now you have just the shapes you have created and you can start renaming them as we discovered in the previous exercise. When you're done, you can choose colors and apply the reporting values. What if your shape has many, many more objects and it's hard to create names like this? An example of this kind of project is the NUTS map that we have created in Excel and it required from us translating the geo coordinates into Excel shapes. It is possible and feel free to contact us to order this kind of service. The last example of this uh, new region map usage is Power BI Desktop uh, and within Power BI we will get data for sales of our regions coming from the sales worksheet. Then if you don't see a visual that is called the shape map, you need to check in the preview features of Power BI if this visualization is turned on. This visual requires from us having the shape map saved as a topo.json file. This means we need another tool to rewrite the shape file we have. The tool that I use for this purpose is a website called mapshaper.org where you can select all of the shape files we have and import them. Then we just export the map into a topo.json file. Once we save the file, we go back to Power BI Desktop and place region on location. Then you go to the format option, to the shape section, and you click add map to load the region map as topo.json file. You can always check the map keys, but in my scenario, if I apply sales, I can already see the region names and the sales values.